Kalgoorlie, one of the original Aussie gold rush towns. In the 1880s, it was buzzing with starry-eyed prospectors, like this Irishman, Paddy Hannan, who struck gold and then proceeded to build up the town, which today still plays up to its Wild West image. Okay, the general principle is a nice, steady, smooth action, yep. left and right, keeping it as low to the ground as possible. The prospector mentality uh, hasn't disappeared yeah. entirely. Okay. We're ready to find gold. Ready to find gold? I'm ready to make my fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Mark has been in Kalgoorlie for four years, hunting for gold on a daily basis. I've got to say, the words needle and haystack come to my mind. I mean, how, do you really <laughs> believe that you're going to find it at any moment? Uh, that's the randomness of it, yeah, you can find it at any moment. 75% of the country's gold can be found in Western Australia. Mark reckons they've only scratched the surface. Recently I found a three ounce and it was just like, <gasps> you know, just pure adrenaline, excitement, you know. Um, that particular piece was a $5,000 day. Wow. <laughs> Last year they were pushing some ground not far from here and one of the pieces that they pulled out of the ground was 23 kilos. What? <laughs> Which is worth how much? Ah, probably be close to a million, close to a million dollars. It used to be a gold mining free for all here, but today the landscape is dominated by this super pit, the biggest in Australia. Three and a half kilometres long and one and a half wide producing nearly a million ounces of gold a year. Of course, today, it's not individual prospectors, but big corporations that are making billions out of precious metals here, fueling a very modern boomtown mentality. Mm -hmm. 